Hello, I'm, sir. Hi. Hi, everybody. Adam Savage in my cave with Ben Eady. You have seen him before. We'll include a link to one or two videos he's participated in. But you have brought some technology to yeah, you show have, me. Yeah, you have no idea what's happening No, here. I have no. the slightest okay. idea. I'm so excited because this literally was a bit of a discovery over the last couple of weeks. And last night, we built a final thing that you'll see here in a second, oh, right? Okay. But... <clears throat> So I ended up, I do ham radio and I ended up finding this uh, conductive fabric. And I turned out that you can make antennas out of conductive fabric. So you can have an antenna that normally weigh 30 pounds, literally roll up and be two ounces into your pocket. Wow. But that's, that's okay. what, that, that is the tangent of this. Now, <laughs> so I've got some fabric tape for you and I want you to see how, like, I want you to like give her a talk, like, tell me how tough you think that is. Well, I mean, I see what looks like metallic, it's a metallic weave. That's right. And it feels like the tensile strength is pretty crazy strong. Right. Okay. I mean, hundreds of, 100 pounds maybe? So we've got like a little LED here and hopefully I've got the polarization right. Right, and we go like this and that is the, I'm hoping I get the polarization. Actually, how about I just tape it here and then we'll figure it out later. All right. Now think cosplay and you need to run power or data lines along something, mm -hmm. right? And what? No way. It conducts through the stickum. That's the unique. And then you sew it down. Right, right, right. But you can place it. But the thing is, is that you can buy this in like Faraday sheets so you could laser cut it with an iron on backing and do like a circuit board on your shirt and literally put like an Arduino on it and have it control lights or servos or whatever. But like if you have lights, say down an Iron, iron Man thing, yeah, yeah. the biggest thing is the joints and all the wires breaking, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So wires breaking. Ah, this wires literally, breaking. Literally, literally, right. I ordered this. Because I was when you do this coming. with a wire, you right. are eventually going to work hard in it. Okay, so let's just take this a little further. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm viscerally shaking because I'm so excited. <laughs> this stuff is just so much fun. Okay, so now we got the Velcro. So now you've got a joint, right? right. And you can't, you can't join the two pieces together, right? Yeah. Wait, metallic Velcro? Undo it. Dude, what I is spent, I spent I spent like two hours the other night just going tee, 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 on off on off. Who I've never even heard of metallic Velcro. So it's Faraday fabric. Faraday fabric. Right. So and the thing is, is that this works. Yes. There's about like one ohm per foot of resistance, so it builds up. Oh, and LEDs. You know how you have to add a resistor? <laughs> yeah. You don't now because this is the resistor. Is it like a, is it almost like a, does it all end up acting like a universal resistor? Like just the amount of current can't get? You, with LEDs, yes, there are certain calculations to get to it. But right, the fact right. is, is that a resistor of any sort, no matter how small, is better with an LED than nothing. Right, 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 right. right. So if you're just trying to get something, especially in a movie, you need something to work now, throw the tape down. Don't worry about the resistor, just tape it up. And so, oh, and like, okay, so here was So this is part of, of an industry of, of cheap Faraday construction. Yeah, so you know the people want to make a wallet where they don't have, they throw their wallet and everything in it because you can't see through the Faraday fabric. Right, right. And I was thinking, well, wait a minute, if it, if it conducts, yeah, then can it just conduct, can it work in the reverse? It's designed to block radio waves. Turns out for my antennas, it sends them out better than people. I have, I was talking to a guy on a radio and I was telling him how I'm going to make a tape radio antenna and stuff because right. it'll never work. And I'm like, but I'm talking to you at all, on it right now at 60 <laughs> miles away. And he's like, that's impossible. The handsets can't go that far. And then, so I met with him for coffee and showed him. And he's like, I still don't believe it. We hooked it up and he keyed up the repeater. And he's like, dude. <laughs> but I just keep on going to bang on this point again, but metallic Velcro. Yeah. Like some company decided or to add fabric. that to. So this is the fabric and you can get it like a nylon weave. So you can have, you can have like a security blanket for like wow. all the preppers. Right, right, right. This is kind but of even remarkable. Think, and but think about roughing out a circuit on your desk, just planting that down, putting the LEDs, will this work and where do all the lines go instead yeah. of having to cat it out. And so someone sells this stuff. This yeah, you is can the... get it on Amazon. I buy, I literally buy it now in the thousands of feet from- Because it's so useful. Yeah, I've got literally boxes like, like, like you have hardware, I yeah. have this stuff. <laughs> the pinstripe Faraday tape. And new new thing will be this. Okay, the Velcro, super expensive. Well, I wouldn't say, okay, expensive is relative. This right. is not cheap. Yeah. But like you don't need a whole lot. But I'm I'm working on some, some uh, first responders that have backpacks and they have problems dealing with deploying the antenna. 
Right. I can just set things up so the backpack is the antenna. You throw your two Velcro straps on, go, you're good to go. That's so amazing from a disaster <laughs> standpoint and like mission critical in situ field work, but also what it does for cosplay yeah. is spectacular. So, Autumn, my assistant, she is freaking amazing and you will be meeting her later. Okay. I mentioned this to her and she's like, I've got this thing where I want to do a glove with lit up knuckles. Oh. So you've got the nudes. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, with and little flexible. COB. And, the... and granted, this isn't best and they're probably going to flicker, but this was built like two nights ago. Right, just, right? just a proof of concept. That but is I'm so... just so excited. I'm like, Autumn, Autumn's like, what should I do for the rest of the day? I'm like, build the glove. Oh, and you <laughs> have this, I can see an issue is that you can short very easily. You can. So, yeah. But also, like, there's... Right. Yeah. I mean, all you Sorry, need to I'm do is gonna... iron some bias tape on top of this and you're fine. Well, exactly. And yeah, you could shield this with just another cover or what, yeah, but yeah. There, there's just so many things that you can do. But like, okay, so you take this, do the iron on backing, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. you laser cut out, right? Right, And then right. iron this down. So you could have something that looks like bones that creates the glow. Oh, I love this. Well, so and, we, and we can include... injection further down the long line with just another CR 2032. Right. And then you're not having to piss around with the battery pack. Uh, we can include links to this fabric and these fabric tapes yes. in the description. Yeah. Uh, is the Velcro something that comes from? I couldn't find also... it on Amazon. I found it on yeah. AliExpress. Okay, cool. We but will... you, I'm sure you can get, I know you can get uh, affiliate links to AliExpress. So if you want to do that, we can do that. Metallic Velcro. I'm just Zippers. Like... What, what do you mean zippers? Metallic zippers. Metallic zippers. So imagine having a zipper, right? And it has resistance as you go up. So think the Velcro, but then you can have lights set so you can literally so zip up your, and, your, and your the potentiometer LEDs. is your exactly. front zipper. Ben, that's hilarious. I love this. And and a lot of this is, I'm making antennas and my, my assistant Autumn's like, will it do this? And this is one of those where you need mul multiple creatives in the room because mm -hmm. they, they see it from a different angle. And she's like, would I be able to do this? And then suddenly my head literally was like, yeah, and she's you, like, Ben, Ben, Ben. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, I, that's really fun when you get everyone contributing their own absurdity to what's possible here. And I see you just have the tape running right through the contact hole. Yeah, so we just roll it up, roll it over top. And again, yes, we can do this much better, but for a prototype, honestly, you and I both know that this would be a workable prop used on set. <laughs> yeah. Right, at this point. Certainly. And, and literally, it was a couple hours. Incredible. That is really thrilling. The only way we progress is by sharing this stuff with each other, right? Yep. That's what I love about this whole community. Man, that is just thrilling. I well, I can't wait to see the long tail of this at my autograph table in a couple of years. Yeah. Well, and think of it this way. There's always, a, there's a saying that I think I coined, but I'm not sure. It could have come up from somebody else. But I always, I told one of my college teachers, imagine the world if knowledge was shared and not sold. Yeah. And I think something like this or what you're talking about is, is, it, is mm -hmm. just proof of it. Yeah, if we all just talk. Indeed. That is a love. Ben, that is beautiful, man. Thank you so much my for pleasure. showing me this. Oh my gosh. Yeah.